Well, there's a new device out, but it seems kind of odd. And just the reason we are fact-checking this health story, we're talking about magnets as a treatment for depression. No needles, no drugs, and some patients swear by this. But does it work? You ready for your treatment? It's been a long road for Cecilia Downing, battling depression for two decades. When it was really bad, it felt like, for me, that I was falling into just this deep, dark hole. Cecilia says she has tried it all, from antidepressant medications to alternative treatments. You know, I felt like I was holding on with my fingertips. But then decided to try something new at Riverside Methodist Hospital. So I'm going to be putting this down on your head. It's called TMS for transcranial magnetic stimulation. It looks odd, but it uses the power of magnets for direct brain stimulation. Dr. Megan Shabbing says it really does work for some patients by targeting a specific region in the brain. We're creating an electrical field with that magnet, stimulating some of the neural networks in that specific region that we know are underactive with depressed patients and sort of bringing them back to life, if you will. And it changes how the neural networks interact with each other. No drugs, no side effects. 10 pulses per second. But it is a commitment. 40 minute treatments, five days a week for six weeks. And it can come at a cost. Cecilia's treatment was covered, but not all insurance does. And you need to have failed other treatments first. The out of pocket cost is eight to ten thousand dollars. People sometimes say I've never really realized that I can enjoy life so much. It worked. Cecilia says it was subtle, but she noticed that deep sadness just slip away and the depression fade. So when they went, huh, I don't feel bad. <laughs> it was great. Now this is not for bipolar depression yet, but Dr. Shabbing says that this is working so well that she thinks it could be an option for that down the road. And it really is amazing how often now we're hearing about devices that are an alternative to that medication. Exactly. It's another tool in the toolbox, mm -hmm. especially for those who can't tolerate the medication, especially the side effects. Right. Good to see that. Really good report. Thanks.